welcome and welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be trying a different style of my hair that i've been seeing going around okay i've seen it like twice but you know yeah i've been seeing on people and i was like i want to try it on my hair and see what happens also the spot on the wall that happened when i dyed my hair and i tried to get it off and i ended up making it worse but it's okay it's fine it's okay it's fine so my hair is already pre-pooed, washed, and conditioned. And if you see my TikToks, you know what I use. But if you haven't, I'm gonna tell you now. The pre-poo that I used is the pattern um, treatment mask. I also shampooed with the FOG Curlific Textured Hair Wash. Haven't used this in a while, and I found it in my hair station. I was like, why not try it? You know. And I did conditioned with the Tropic Girl Tropic Girl Naturals um, hair conditioner. And so the hairstyle that we're doing today, if it's not in the title, is uh, a tweed out. It's how the original creator pronounced it, which is Alana Simone here on YouTube. Or in a 90s kind of way on Instagram I think is way or in the, it's in the 90s kind of something she always trying new and inventive ways to do her hair she did the toy out she did the twash and go like she becoming she be coming up with the with the with the hairstyles and I was like I wonder how the toy out would look on my hair aka a twist and a braid out but more like a braid into a twist out which I sort of kind of already do like when I get to the ends of my hair I twist it up but you know this time I'm gonna you know do not half and half more like 25 and 75 of my hair like that okay I'm back and I forgot to add a little tidbit also if you know and you've been following my channel for a while you know i've been on a hunt for a good deal and i still haven't found the one that i think will be great but i want to try the um coily custard from kinky curly i also want to try the curl maker from camille rose naturals i just don't know what which one to do my hair how i want it and then i don't want to get like a super duper hard gel and then the gel just make my hair look bad but i digress we're gonna start doing my hair so the um first leave-in that i'm gonna use is the FG curlific moisturizer leave-in it's a spray leave-in and i felt like it wasn't gonna give me enough of what i wanted so i'm gonna use my favorite on top which is the kick curly knot today and as you can tell it is my favorite because i just got it and half is gone so i have been using it a lot and like i said earlier on top of that i'm gonna use the diva curl ultra defining gel and i just got this a couple months ago too and all of it is almost gone so yeah that lets you know what my favorites are what my favorites are okay so we're just gonna start in the back and basically with this twayed out twist out braid out whatever you want to call it um you start braiding and then like not half the way down you start twisting it up I feel like it'll give me the elongation at the root so it don't be so you know stuck at the root but also give me some nice definition so that's what I'm going for but yeah I'm just putting the first leave-in on um it is like a um uh spray leave-in like it's like a water but it's slightly thicker let me just show you like most spray leave-ins they are very runny but this one has like a thicker consistency so it's it, I can see where it supplies me some moisture so I like that um 
and it smells just like the rest of the line I do not know how to explain the smell it's not a bad one you just know if you smell that you know exactly what it is so put that all over my hair and trying to make sure I get my ends and now we're going in with the Kiki Curly Knot today. This is how much I'm going to use. And the consistency, if you don't know, is slightly thicker than the spray. I'm just going to add that on there. And I love the smell of this. It smells like some kind of fruit. Oh my God, it smells so good. Now my hair, all oh my hair is very moisturized. And if you see me um, lifting this finger, I cut it some kind of way. Don't know how. Oh, uh, another tidbit of information. I am accident prone. I get hurt often. Okay, so I'm going to detangle before I apply the gel. I haven't detangled with, like, with the brush this whole wash day. I've just been finger detangling. So I'm just trying to make sure all the tangles are out. And this is my uh, favorite brush by uh, Crown of Morena on Instagram. Cause I was seeing like a whole lot of brushes that shape like this and nobody didn't want to, you know, give the link be like, oh, I got it from here, here and here. They didn't want to do that. And I'm like, rude. So when they came out with their brush i was like why don't i just order from them it looks pretty much the same as the other brush you know so i did it and i'm happy that i did it's my favorite brush now okay and now it's time for the diva curl gel and this is what it looks like if it ever focuses. consistency it's kind of thick but kind of also watery at the same time so yeah just gonna apply that on and I'm gonna stop right about there if you can see about that much of braid and then I'm gonna split the three sections into two and then twist it the rest of the way down and when I get to the ends, I'm going to add a little bit more of the Diva Curl Gel because I feel like it needs just a little bit more. There we go. So I got the first one done. I'm drowning in something and I can't come out Just show me loving, I need loving Me, myself, in enough It's like being a dog to a crushing heart I want you to know how bad it hurts
my hair this is what it's looking like as I always say do not look at the parts because I am not a great parter but I also think my twists look like really really good they're like really really shiny and I think it has something to do with the effigy because it's kind of like a I don't want to say protein but it's kind of like a protein leave-in conditioner because it's in like a protein line like the whole curlific line it seems like it gears towards high porosity yeah okay okay so yeah this is basically it for the video i'm sorry i couldn't show you the final results i didn't know what to film honestly and i was like why not just film that because i seen it so that's what i ended up filming i'm so sorry i couldn't show you the results because i had gotten into a habit of showing the results and i'm gonna have to redo this one this one is bothering me it's okay all of them are puffy at the roots because like i said I don't, I don't know how to make it flat at the root, but it's puffy at the roots and it's bothering me. Like, and it's more puffier than the others. But, so I'm going to quickly redo this one. But yeah, that's basically it for this um, video. Just wanted to show you guys what I was doing. I don't think I'm going to have a video for next week because next week I think it's Christmas weekend so I probably won't be you know trying to film next week but if I do I mean you'll see it and that's it but as for right now I don't think I'll be able to get a video up um or you'll probably see a short from me of me doing a TikTok because I filmed two TikToks today so if you do see a video from me next week most likely it'll be a tiktok okay hair's done so yeah i'll see you in my next video um before you go make sure you like comment and subscribe and click that little bell button so you never forget the next time i upload and i'll see you guys in my next one bye